Welcome back to my vlog, y'all. In my previous video, you saw this quad flying around the backyard. This is a Toma Quads CSX frame and a um, turtle, Cadix Turtle Pod uh, created by Sanchez. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for the uh, the file. You can print this yourself. Uh, this one was printed by Brain 3D. Uh, I actually got a 3D printer recently, and I was able to just about duplicate the quality that Brain 3D gave me, which uh, I was pretty impressed with. Uh, ah, with my first TPU print, not bad. That was on a uh, $199 mono price mini pro printer, completely stock printer. Anyway, I'm going to go over the stuff I used on it, uh, how I put it together. It's a little complicated, not an easy thing to uh, build by any means. I used T-Motor 1106. 6,000 kV motors uh, made by T-Motor for Racer Star. Nice motor. Um, I, I got a couple that have had the shafts bend on them a little bit. I'm not sure 1106 is the way to go for this kind of uh, HD toothpick style quad. Maybe a 1304 would be better. Um, might try some 1304 RCX motors on it. Anyway, a little close up. It's got a little TPU printed adapter plate in here, plate to mount your uh, Caddx turtle board on, and of course the flight controller is below it. And it's just got three holes that go up into the TPU pod. And the bolts just go up through there, and I don't have anything holding them on. No nuts, uh, and there's no no way to get a nut in there. You could uh, you could always melt this this TPU and and add a bolt a nut. I'm not sure if that's necessary. This is yet to come off in a crash. It may be moving a little bit on hard maneuvers because I get a little shake in the video every now and then, but. Uh, yeah, it has not moved or budged at all. You'll notice that I have little nuts, little nylon nuts that hold the uh, TPU adapter to the flight controller screws or bolts. And you can probably do it without these because this didn't move a lot, but I I didn't like it without something holding the top on. So I cut these little nylon uh, nuts down so they would fit in there because a normal M2 nylon nut is not gonna fit underneath that board. That's just a little close up of how it goes on. Um, it's a little fiddly to, to get all together, to stuff all the uh, wires for the Caddx up in here and the VTX is up in here and I got my receiver I got a Lemon RX underneath the flight controller and the antenna is just coming out the back like so which works pretty good nice looking little build here I'll show you how much it weighs it weighs 128 grams I think it is couldn't find a square battery that weighed anywhere close to uh, the Race Day Quads battery. I wanted something a little more squared. They were all close to 50 grams or over, I think, for a 500-ish milliamp 3S. Well, this is being a bitch. Yeah, 128.4 grams. Somewhere around there. Got the Caddx ND filter on there. Without the ND filter, I get a little bit of jello, not a lot of jello, but any jello is too much jello. <laughs> I don't I don't want any jello. I'd rather just have DVR footage if I have to deal with jello in the HD. Uh, what else I got in here? Oh, that's a GEP RC uh, 
that's the GEP RC all-in-one that I depinned in my other video. Um, yeah, still works fine, even though I heated it up a lot <laughs> to get those pins out. Um, what else is on here? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not it's not a complicated thing to build. It's just um, kind of a pain in the ass to put together. One other thing I'd like to mention is this only has three. It only has three holes for screws to hold the canopy on, but you still want to put a fourth screw through the TPU and up through the CADEX board and put a nylon nut on it to hold it on to keep this from, uh, well mainly you need that just to hold the uh, SD card holder, uh, the, the little clip to hold keep the SD card from popping out in a crash. It needs that uh, screw right there and that nut on it to keep it held in tight. And mine, I've already lost two of these nuts because the vibrations cause the nut to loosen and then it falls out. And what I did is I took uh, electrical tape, liquid uh, electrical tape, and I dabbed it all in there after I screwed that down and has not come out since. So I had a little, you know, epoxy or electrical tape, something, glue, something to hold that nut, keep it from spinning. Because you don't want this coming loose or your SD card will fly out in a crash and you will be sucking trying to find an SD card in uh, the yard. Good luck with that. Uh, the performance of this, uh, someone mentioned it uh, looked like a 5 inch. Yeah, it feels just like a 5 inch. It doesn't have the top end of my 6S 5 inch quads, but I mean, just flinging and throwing it around the yard, it feels very, very similar to a 5 inch. Oh, something else. This uh, pod is pretty tight around the ND filter, and I've crashed the snot out of this thing, and I have yet to lose this ND filter. I got a second one coming from Banggood, just in case, just to have on hand. But uh, yeah, I've not lost this uh, ND filter yet, it hasn't come off. It does cause a little um, vignetting. Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, you, you get some black uh, on the corners in the video, and uh, I usually just zoom in just a tiny, tiny bit to get rid of it. Not a big deal. Oh, let me get a weight on these motors. They're seven under. They're under eight grams. Yeah, seven point seven grams. And I got some. Uh, Asparagus spear uh, rubber bands from the grocery store here holding on the battery <laughs> Work really really well Yeah, maybe the uh, these micro HD uh, cameras will uh, get a little better the footage is it's okay It's okay Caddx. It's not perfect. It's all right slightly better than DVR All right, here's some footage check it out like and subscribe y'all for more Stupid micro HD crap crashing. I'm sure I'll destroy this. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty tough so far. Pretty tough. Oh, the uh, the chopstick CS CSX frame comes with a canopy. In case uh, anyone was wondering, this is the canopy for it. And I got a little DVR board, which I'm also using with the Caddx turtle, that's the Caddx turtle adapter for the turtle board. That's how it uh, mounts on there. Yeah, I'll put this in something, I don't know. We'll see. But you do get a canopy with this frame. And you will need some long M2 bolts. Um, I don't know how long those are. Stand by. Yeah, these bolts are... They don't go that high. What am I doing? What the hell am I doing? You look like they're... Oh, I just spun my nut. 17, uh, 17 millimeter? 16? Is that 16 millimeter? Oh, I think I loosened that one by spinning it. Is that the one I spun? Yeah, six, 16 millimeter nuts. Bolts? What the fuck am I talking about? 
Hopefully this helps uh, someone uh, put this together. When I first uh, got the uh, printed the got the printed parts and uh, all the pieces, I was looking at it and thinking, well, how the hell does that? What holds this on? How does that work? <laughs> it was a little, you know, a little hard to figure out just from pictures. So I thought I would make this little video talking about how it goes together. It's really not that complicated. You can see that there's a, well you can't see, you can see if I could get the camera right. Zoom in. There's a screw right there that goes up through the board. It goes up through the TPU and there's three of those that hold this TPU pot on. And it's just the threads holding it on. There's no nut. There's no nut up in here. Uh, trying to get a nut. You might be able to get one in the front if you're if you're good. Down through here. Move the camera back. Eh, seemed like too much trouble. I didn't bother trying to do that. But uh, I don't think you really need a nut. Might help with the shaking of the camera. It's pretty, it's pretty rock solid there. Here, let's get some close up of it. Get that props out of the way. We'll close up, showing it. Showing how it goes in there. Pretty simple. Pretty, pretty durable. This frame is, uh, let me zoom back out. This frame has been uh, a lot better than I thought it would be. That's why I uh, ordered this frame to do this with, because it's uh, got some thick, thick arms on it. Uh, I thought it would be a little better with these size motors and this weight. But uh, I've been pretty impressed with the uh, crash ability. <laughs> crash ability? The crash ability of this frame. It has not uh, given any. Doesn't look like it's going to break. I guess 128 grams is not enough weight to uh, cause a lot of damage to it. I don't know. Tried to fly it on a uh, some smaller 350, uh, some smaller 350 3S batteries, and it sucks these batteries dry in like a minute, minute and a half. So yeah, that's no good. Definitely need a 500. 525 3S works pretty good. And uh, this is one of the lighter ones that I could find at 41, 42 grams. Oh, I found some, uh, found some 3x2 props in my uh, junk drawer. Yeah, I'll try those on there. They look a little longer than these. They are longer. Well, they barely, they barely fit. I'll well, stick those on there and see how they work. Pretty sure these props suck. I definitely remember trying these on uh, one of my old uh, my old Hermit. Still got it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they sucked. Sucky prop. Alright, like and subscribe, y'all.
That last flight was about three minutes long. I have flown this uh, for over four minutes on these batteries, about four and a half minutes, but uh, the, the last 30 seconds was just slow cruising. Uh, this battery had 11% left after that flight, so I could have gone a little longer, but I wouldn't recommend it. So you get a solid three minutes out of this with these props. And the battery, I had the battery on sideways for that, and it felt a little better sideways, I must say. I'll try a few more batteries and a few more props on this, probably some different motors, and uh, we'll see how it does. I will let y'all know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks a little top heavy. Looks like a bobblehead. Yeah. It's alright. Like and subscribe, y'all.